Welcome to the Rhymer and Company production documentary of the Harris Gate. This is our chief designer, Michael Heffer. He designed the gate inspired by the painting of Lawrence Harris, which is where the name of the piece is derived. The other person working with Mike in the layout phase is myself, Alex Marriott. I've been working with Paul Reimer for 15 years now, and I'm currently the principal blacksmith of Reimer & Co. I have eaten a perfect mango. As Mike and I scale up the drawing into a full-size representation, we need to keep in mind flow of design as well as the physical limitations of space. Trivial details that get missed in the initial design phase need to be worked out in the large-scale layout. Here I am again. I'm in the beginning of the forging phase of construction. I'm starting with the central elements of the design. The two trees at the center are the most elaborate and most labor-intensive elements of the gate. Because of the mass and the heat that's thrown off from these giant elements, sometimes you can feel your clothes begin to steam and even shrink around you as the radiant heat starts to hit you. Here you can see Arthur trying to fit some of the smaller elements up against the drawing, comparing always to the template of the layout. One of the benefits the blacksmith has over other trades is the ability to build custom tools on the fly and to aid in construction. I'm building a set of custom dies to go into our pneumatic power hammer to concave the tree branches and give them curve and texture. The new dies work perfectly. The fair is blue. Adding the concave dishing to the branches not only adds to the visual appeal of the design, but it also adds to strength and rigidity to the gate structure. At the end of every process, the seal needs to be straightened and then compared to the master layout. Even though Paul doesn't have his hands on the steel very often in this project, he's involved every step of the way in guiding the team and lending his skills and experience throughout the creation process. Here's Arthur again. Half the time, he's using his engineering and drafting skills in the shop, but here he's cutting out some of the later elements of the gate. When it makes its home in the rocks and the reeds, where the snow lies deep on a windy hill, and it tells the world, why should I wait? This ice and snow is gonna melt away, and so I. This is Tim. Although one of the younger guys in our team, he is top-notch in forging and is an A-ticketed dwellerman currently studying for his Red Seal certification. The largest elements of this project are too big for one person to work alone. This piece is the opening point of the gate. To keep the center seam, the concave dishing, and the curvature all matching between the two sides of the opening, we've welded the two pieces together and are forging them simultaneously.
All is good to go It's about to start Can you find your place When there's no cover charge The sky is pink and warm A fading into blue On this summer night It's more than me and you Tim and Austin are straightening the end posts in the 50-ton press. You may notice red blotches on the metal. Before any pieces can be put together, all the layered surfaces get a coat of special weld-through primer to ensure maximum rust prevention for the areas that will be unreachable later in construction. The tree branches are all hot riveted by hand, one by one. The fish are jumping big, the birds are digging in. The water is so calm. Tim is welding in a flange to each side of the center opening piece. This flange serves a double purpose of reinforcing each panel against twisting and also closing in the layered elements of the gate while it is open. Take one breath. Just take. The gate is dry fit to the layout before final assembly. We need to make sure that the pieces fit in their attendant places and that the layers are assembled in the correct order. We're all back. The opening is complicated, so we bolt it together before riveting to make sure all the pieces line up with the flow of the design. All of the pieces are welded into place on top of the layout to ensure everything is in its proper place. The layout is no longer necessary, so the gate panels are moved aside and the layout board is removed. The gate is now elevated to allow better access for final welding. The nearly completed panels are given their final riveting. Tim and Tom are using a hydraulic bottle jack to remove undesired distortions caused by the riveting and welding processes. The now completed gate is primed and Josh is laying the first coat of the black top coat. Using a crane, the gate is carefully lifted into place. Once properly positioned, the hinges are welded on the posts. I hope you have enjoyed this Rhymer & Co. production documentary of the Harris Gate. Thanks for watching. Walk along these fields, lie down on smooth stone.